Let's get you up to speed now on some concerning data. Manufacturing activity in the New York area has slowed to its lowest level since the early days of COVID. The New York Fed's Empire State Manufacturing Survey tumbled 22 points in one month to negative 32.9. Now that's the lowest level since May of 2020 in the, and lower than anything we've seen since pre-pandemic with data going back to July 2001. This survey measures the percentage of companies expanding versus those companies that are contracting and the expectation was minus seven. And again, it was minus 22, more than three times as bad as estimates. And Shana, this is normally not a number we talk about here on Yahoo Finance because it is simply the New York area. But when it's this bad, unprecedented bad, it makes you think something in the foundation of this economy is also rotting beneath it and foretells what's around the corner. Yeah, exactly. We know that there is certainly a lot of concern out there. We heard from a number of the bank CEOs last week warning that the next couple of quarters will likely be challenging. A number of them predicting a mild recession. We'll get to it in a minute, but James Gorman from Morgan Stanley was much more upbeat than some of his peers out there. But I think it also speaks to what we've been seeing in the recent surveys as well. PwC was out with a recent survey saying that 73% of CEOs believe that the global economic growth is going to decline over the next year. So when you take that and add in what we've just seen from this index here, certainly I think the safest bet is to say it's going to remain challenging. Things are going to be choppy. And that looming recession is what most people, most investors are the most worried about right now. Gloomy outlook indeed.